All right, let's have a look at these probability questions. Um, the question says in the survey, a research has interviewed a number of online shoppers. Out of the total number of the online shopper in the view, 200 online shoppers are female and 130 online shoppers prefer Lazada. Okay, just in case some students do not know what is Lazada, is 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 kind of like the uh, online shopping platform like Amazon. So 80 of the online shoppers are female and prefer Lazada. So the event and online shopper is a female and the event and online shopper who prefer Lazada are independent. Alright, so determine the total number of online shoppers in the survey. Alright, so right now I try to write down all the information I have. So first, I want to let um, the sample space, because we do not know what is the total number, right? So what I want to do right now is uh, the total number here, the total number here, I will just assume we have uh, x number. So I will say number of the sample space will be x. Alright, if I want to find the probability of um, getting the female online shopper, probability of female, which is 200 over total, isn't it? 200 over x. So if I want to find the shopper who prefer the Lazada, so it will be probability of Lazada will be 80 over x. All right. And then I want to find the probability they are female at the same time they prefer Lazada, which is a female and prefer Lazada. We have 80 of them. So I will say female intercept Lazada will be um, 80 over x. Okay, sorry, this is not the 80. This one should be 130 because just now I actually missed out. So we have 130 online shopper prefer Lazada. So yeah, prefer Lazada should be 130. The 80 is prefer Lazada and they are female. So it's kind of like in the set, isn't it? All right, so over here, we have a formula for independent. So you just remember about independent event. If both events are independent, then we know probability of A intercept B will equal to the probability of A multiply probability of B. All right, this is the independent rule in probability topics. So over here, if they are independent, so I can say the probability of female at the same time and, or you don't like the intersection sign, you can do female and prefer la da da. Mean they are female and they prefer la da da. Also can because the end here actually means the in the intercept. So female and la da da. So it equals to the probability of female multiply probability of la da da. All right. So then I, I will just solve the algebra thing here. So this is eighty over x equals to this one will be two hundred over x multiply one hundred thirty over x. All right. Then I will just solve this one. Um. All right, we have 80 over x here should be 2600 over x squared. All right, I move the x squared to the other side, simplify with the x here. So I should have x equals to 26000 divided by 80. Then I should have 325. All right, and what is the meaning of x? x will be the total number, isn't it? So therefore, we know that we have the total number of participants or online shopper is 325. All right, I hope this short video can help you understand about the independent event and how to do this kind of complicated question. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.